my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and this is my official first comeback with Idol and finally enough I just finished marathoning them so it really doesn't feel like I've spent any time away from them at all. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. I believe the track is called Klaxon. I have a music video and it does give the appearance of a live clip version as well so we're here for it all. We're right here along the journey. I already have some older reactions getting released into the vast realm of YouTube, so I hope you guys are enjoying those. Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> okay, ma'am. <laughs> Look at the smile in the back. I wonder where they shot this. It is giving LA vibes, but I could be so wrong. We all know there ain't no way people would be just okay with people dancing on top of their vehicles. It is giving summer vibes. <laughs> Hit the collection. Orange is a vibe, Miss Ma'am. Don't worry, I don't want a boy toy. There ain't no way they're in LA if those are the gas prices. I'd like $2 a gallon to that. <laughs> wow. It looks like her hair is perm, which is such a nice vibe on her. Nice. I mean, oh, did they just leave them? That's rude. Yeah, I would have flipped them off, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. So I needed to look for myself. Um, I've never heard the word klaxon before until today, but based off of context and a simple Google search, it is an electronic horn. So they say hit the klaxon. Look at that. Idol is teaching me English now. We're here for it. Mmm, it looks like they went to Jeju Island. I like the fact that they went to different different coasts. Uh, I'm assuming different countries as well. Cute. Love it. Yep, so it is in fact a live clip, but look, it's low-key a dance performance if you think about it. Ooh. So catchy. I also like that each member has a different textile style of bathing suit. It makes it feel like we get to see a little bit more of their individualized artistry just through their fits. It's nice. And I personally think it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable dancing in bikinis. 
That's a cute skirt. So what I find interesting is that Uki and Minnie have switched up hair. What I mean by that is normally when I see black bangs of some kind, I'm going to assume it's Minnie because she's always had her hair like a darker shade and then Uki always has that ex ex more exploratory type of hairstyles. But that could just be off of my assumption. But it's just so interesting, right? I love everybody's hair. Minnie's a slaying though. We're here for it. Not many people can pull off a curly bang like that, but she does. Love you, baby. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> it looks like there's a tropical storm on the horizon. That was a cute transition. And the umbrellas have also changed. Nice. I love that little that little finish at the end with the chest. We're here for it. Okay, let's talk about it. There's a lot of movement going on in this, and that means there's a lot for us to talk about. So formation-wise, on the simpler side, but simple doesn't mean easy. I think it placates very well to what they're going for, which is very gregarious, very lively, very fun and bubbly. Uh, and it definitely feels communal in the sense of a lot of people will be able to do the choreography in the fits that they're wearing too. So it actually works well. I love the sit and the right hip and they're just choosing to raise the arms as well, making it fun. They're rotating around, making it a nice little hinge forward to really poke out their bottoms. We're here for it with the switches on the hands. Now for me, a lot of this does remind me of some of the hand choices that we do see in Han and in La Tata. And I really enjoyed those subtle syncopated moments within those choreographies so i like being able to see it here because they're very good at it they've always been good at it so it's nice to see it reintroduced in this summer vibey track from here i love the little little tease of the hips love it they sit down onto they're resting more on the right side of their hips so they can rotate it and i like how they ended up hooking the feet so it had a nice um uniformity in the rotation of the knees over to the front then from here now it feels this is nice some nice tension onto the, onto the boob man i think that's funny uh in a really great way and then also at the very end nice little accent it's cool we're here for it and we throw it around i like that accent from soyan then they're pressing their hips up to fully lengthen out that left leg, which I like. And then they have a nice little ooh -ah, ooh -ah, complimentary fanning because, of course, it's hot. So they double it up both times. Then from there, they're going to take that leg that's straightened and they're going to help m create momentum to get the feet tucked under so they can be on their knees after. Then I like the switch ups as they're doing a subtle hinge around. Definitely feels very playful, but internal. And so it helps you tie into whoever you're supposed to look at very well, which would be Soyeon still, which is good. So they go out, they go in. So this is a fun little cannon. It's a two part cannon where you have the arm and then you shampoo it or thread the head through. And I like that we have with with whoever starts, which would be Soyeon, and then it expands out. They have to hold on to that last rotation with that hip in order for everybody to kind of be on the same page after the cannon finishes. So I like that subtlety there. And then you have this, once again, the lifts of the chest and the lowering of the head to rotate the wrist. I really like that. We are, it's, 
it's boobs and bums is kind of what we're really uh, showcasing and not like a sexual way, but in like a teasy summary, hmm, you know, like a flirty vibe is kind of what it comes across. But Idol, I think they pull it off so well. They're definitely one who showcase independence of artistry, which we love. We come up moves through. I love the little pick up into the passe with the, the throwing of the hair. We're here for it. Such a good look on her, guys. I love it. Accents. Notice that we're using the fingers to kind of strike up. Really fun with that. And then we do a nice little hug, a little hold into our body, which is nice. Very easy to get us into our next formation. We do little pickups of our feet. We go over and over. So once again, very simple in the rhythm patterns. We're not doing a ton of syncopation or a ton of complexity in our content. I don't think that's the point of it. I think it's meant as more of a just a fun fun vibe very it's a lot easier to sing doing this style of uh, movement in comparison to other styles that they've done like lion but i really love the aesthetics of all of them they've showcased they know how to hold it down choreographically and creatively on their time on queendom as well as in their discography but also we get to find the beauty of the concepts that they're doing like this one i think it's super fun it feels like a breather almost. It's just a really fun vibe to interact with fans. I do expect this on the concert lineup because they are touring in North America very soon. They, they may already be. I don't quite know that, but uh, I know that they are making their way. And so it wouldn't surprise me at all that this makes it on the lineup because why not? You know, I like the little the little cover going on right there with the hands on the head to go da 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 and looking here. Now they don't have English subs on these yet. And so it's just like if you know, if I clicked it, it's auto generated. So so I wouldn't really know uh, fully what they're talking about, but I get the context gist. So I like that with a little wordplay. We're kind of listening in. We're here for it. She also has, these are really good contact lens on her too. That's really cool. They go, they bring, they bring, up, they bring it out and then go up. So really nice. And then we take the hands and we strike them forward, which is nice. Then we go front and then we go to the upper diagonal, which is nice. And it helps with our build. And then we bring it through. That's, it's cute. It's, it's like teetering between there's like a twice cute and then there's like a spunky cute. And I think they're definitely pulling more on that, like the, the spunky side of things. Right. Um, and, and I'm, I'm totally here for it. It's, it feels very idle brand. We love it. I like that. I love you. So they take the thumbs, it looks like, and they're switching it up with the little hips to make it match. Then they swing it through. Notice we're internalizing with the elbows or we're making them more closer to the body as we rotate. So that's why it doesn't feel as full. It's because we're restricting um, the arm range in which we are creating the rotation. So that looks fun. And then from there, we're able to shoot out one of our hands to do a nice uh, little accent going on by our mouth, which is cute. To the other side is fun too. And I always love it whenever we take it and we end up picking up a foot at the end of it. It just feels like we have a fun little comma in our sentence of movement. And it's like, where are we gonna go from here? I don't know, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's fun. And then from here we go to the front, definitely still teasing with our hips. We're here for it. And then we swing, swing. So notice it goes from rotation to more of a side to side, which I think is really fun. Then we hit the claction. <laughs> Love the fact that I learned what claction mean, me, meant from Idol, <laughs> which I find to be very fun because I know that Soyeon likes to troll people for, I know people have uh, criticized Soyeon specifically on her English pronunciation, but I do think part of it at this point is intentional, which I'm here for a good time. Troll them all, uh, but also... I think I, I just find it so interesting that this is the English word we chose to go with and they're pronouncing it probably better than I am, which more power to them. We love it. <laughs> Hit the claction. Boom, 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 boom. Now that with your chest, they have to boom, boom. I think they're going to the inside on that. Let me double check that. Boom, 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 boom. They're hitting all of them. Boom, 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 boom. That can be tricky. That's your first syncopation, and that's a tricky one because it is by your lungs. Uh, so it is by where your vocals and where your breath come in. So that would be a little, in general, you know, appreciation of, hey, we like the fact they took the risk on the syncopation there. It matches well. There they do a nice little, little hip pat right there. It's cute. Boom, over. And then they do the same thing, but instead of going front, they have it facing the side. So I like that in a straight line. It's simple is better on this kind of stuff. 
this is what I'm talking about. I really like the fold over. It's so simple, but it really builds to a nice place, literally and figuratively, because you're not just doing something smooth, like a typical approach, like you would think more like hula and in influence, right? Or Samoan and in influence. But here, I like the fold overs as they build up. Ooh, 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 ooh. So it goes from low to high, nice little interruption in the middle. It's cute. And then I like that. Honestly, I just noticed too, their shoes complement their outfits. And I really like that too. It looks awesome. And then they end up legatoing it or creating more of a hand wave out of it, which looks super nice. I also love the subtlety looking at the camera. Sometimes we're here for it. Then they go the other way. That honk honk, I just find it, it's just, for me, ever since I kind of clocked it the first time, it's kind of hard to not think about it. If Hyanna made better life decisions, I really think she could have really embarked on a niche like this because Soyeon's tone and how she phrases some of her sentence structures remind me very much of how Hyanna has come across in her discography. Now, I'm not talking about her more recent stuff. I'm talking about her older things whenever she was with Dawn, I think, right? So like that era. Um, but here, like all of these choices with a little honk honk like anything that has to do with the chest and utilizing it in a fun accented way uh, but also wordplay and, and some of the abrasiveness of lyricism is something that I kind of uh, that I really like in this group and it also was something that I did like from Hyanna as well but we all know some of her relationship choices were not the best because of who they were affiliated with if you don't know I think a simple google search would uh, help keep you uh, catch you up very sensitive stuff and that's why she She's not really um, as on the up and up in terms of influence right now, if that is kind of a in general note. But going back to Idol, I really like this. I just like the style on them. It looks cool. They look great. And I also think that just the accents are just these, like it's ballsy without having balls. Does that make sense? It's like a really weird way to put it, but that's kind of how I feel about it, where it's kind of like, we're going to go for it, you know? And that's that, you know, I like, kind of felt that way with Kiss of Life too, with their, with Sticky. They, you, you know what I, what, what we're talking about, right? Like, a heavy I'm a piano influence to that which so anyway I digress I really like I like both for different reasons the fold over so they went so notice they all traveled over to stage right then they traveled over to stage left and then we're turning it into a V nice so just simple simple transitions to get us to simple formation changes which looks really nice the fold overs which is super fun yeah Hit the, hit the collection, like Hong Kong, hit it. <laughs> Where you, well, y'all are hitting it for us. <laughs> it's kind of what it comes across, right? I also like the peekaboo tattoo. We're here for it. I like that little Spice Girls. Spice Girls, weren't they a group of five? So I think I, I like that word play. That's cool. That right here. Yes, ma'am. We're here. Where did you go? I really like how she's using her feet uh, and her legs to really help accent her hips and her butt. It looks really cool. Nice little fan here, and then we go right here into a straight line. Bom, bom, bom. Good levels on that. You can tell some people have some hyperextension, so the line does look a smidgen, um, just not like the cleanest line in the world, but it, that's just why. It's fine. They're human, whatever, right? We all know they're not really known as like a heavy, heavy dance group, but their dances do have, some of them have some really dope captivation about them, which is cool. So they do a pretty good job holding their own in dance. Then a moncho, little hand hands, and they go and they expand those arms over, which looks super fun. Little hip switches on this. They take the arm, it goes up and down. That does feel like a little toss it up action. We're here for it. They present the arms, really nice. It kind of feels low key, like a little senorita moment, right? Pull, pull, and I like this where they take the shoulders. They go, mm. it's like cute, but I'm like kind of, I'm like trying to be cute. It kind of, kind of feels like that, right? <laughs> but they are doing a good job of being like cute but with spice, like a jalapeno can be cute sometimes. <laughs> I like that where they go and they turn it around. Ow, ow, I just hit myself. That's life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing it through really nice from Shua. Nice accent there, hit and over. Once again, same setup and build up that we did before. Dun, 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 cute. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. eh. So I like the fold folds, very intentional there. It looks good. The little teddy bear on me and shirt's cute. Goom, 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 goom. And then bless the hair that's on it's on Minnie'sum. Mike. Goom, 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 goom. I don't know if they're saying hong or if they're saying kung. Because I've heard both. So I like, once again, that little mask and cut with the umbrella panning up was really nice. Hey, I like you. I want to do an interview. <laughs> 
Okay, I like the little bevel switches on this with the hips, super cute, and they were grabbing. They're like, we're having a party on the beach. And I'm like, I want a party too. I like that the little flick up of the leg looks really nice with the arms. Then we switch it up on the hips. We're here for it. And we do a little, I love you. Oh, cute. I want you to interview. And then from there, we're still doing our bevel switches, but we have that chin up so it has a little confidence and we're presenting our chest a little bit more forward in this too. Instead of keeping it up, we're really wanting to present. We don't just have our hands here just because. It's like, it's, it's a little another flirty move, right? Which is cute. But they have control over those things, right? The camera is not opting into it, which is what I appreciate. They're making the choice in their movement, not the camera is panning to their hips in their, in their chest. That's something that really bothers me whenever I see that. Uh, especially with, I think Minx was like, it was like awful. <laughs> it was awful <laughs> just seeing the Minx music videos. It was, it's the pre Dreamcatcher group. If, if you know, you know. Um, that kind of stuff really, really bothered me, especially knowing that at, whenever a group experiences something at the very beginning of their, uh, of, of their career, regardless of age, I kind of feel this way. Um, a lot of it has to do with informed consent. It's something that somebody on Patreon really worded beautifully because I do, it is a topic that gets brought up with like underage individuals who are doing like sensual con tent and concepts. Uh, but for me, I just think whenever you're really early on in your career, anything that derives to like a sexual innuendo based type of concept, especially if you're teetering on that in between age where the depending on what government you resign under determines whether you're an adult. For me, I think it stems more so from how much is the company informing the consent for them and how much uh, how much freedom of choice is allowed and allocated. Because a lot of times we've heard there's not a lot of choice, even with really seasoned groups, they have to advocate for their concepts a lot. I know with idol that's been a really big thing um with nude right so um that's why i find it like i actually appreciate their choices and it doesn't bother me because i know that it is in it is a choice they wanted to make and the camera is not sitting there zooming in on a separate agenda either so that's probably why i appreciate it and that's why i appreciated kiss of life's uh, choreo as well for the same reason so we're here for it the subtlety, boom. I like that. I noticed with the pull and the shoulder was really cute. Baby, it kind of feels like we have a little pacifier. So that was a cute moment. They double it up, which is nice to bring it through. And then they have it over with a little baby. And then we're ch uh, rotating this hip over, which I think is super cute. And we switch it up. And then we're hitting. Hit the clock, shin. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's all very similar to what we've already kind of seen. This is really cute with the little baby bottles, kind of what it comes across as, right? And then from there, they're doing uh, placing their weight more on the back foot so they can have a little bit more liberty of the front leg to showcase their hip in a different way, which is nice. You can tell that from Soyan over here. Then they go the other way. Honk, honk, hit the collection. That right there. Boom, ba, da, da, da. So that's really nice. And honestly, they're doing a pretty good job. I think they're doing like a linear, meaning that it's kind of staying on one line on the hand waves, but they're rotating the hips. So that's technically a polyrhythm that they're doing. Let me see if that's... No, they are. They are rotating it. Because that would make sense. Because if they're making this super, like a super in one particular plane, and then they have their hip rotating, that is two different <laughs> methods of... Uh, legato that you're doing at the same time even though it's similar in dynamic it is the same uh, or it's different and so I the having the rotation makes so much sense there I like it and I like that it's complementary to each other ooh, ooh. yeah so I just got one more exclamation point in she says <clears throat> try me we're here for it love it we're here yes I had a lot of fun looking at this just as a part of the official comeback. It's a little, I don't know, it's not really, it doesn't really feel as much of a comeback as other groups that are happening this month feel because I literally just finished them not even a week ago. So I hadn't really had a break from them. So there was nothing like, it just kind of feels like, oh, we're still in our marathon, right? Which part of me is like, I'm so appreciative that everything's so fresh so I can make more accurate references. Like I said, with Lata Ta and Han, because it's less than a month old that when I looked at those and 
I'm still, you know, I'm still on Queendom, so I get to see them way back in that era too. So it's really cool to see the comparison between them then and them now. It's, it's, it's nice. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you want to see more Idol, I have it. I have some on YouTube, but I will always have more on Patreon as well as early release. If you enjoy this video and you're like, Jess, I want to see these as you make them. The best way to do that is to go to Patreon because not only do I have early release reactions there, I early release all recent things that go on YouTube as well. So with this one, it will most likely be maybe two to three days early on Patreon before it goes on to YouTube because this will get released after the older reactions do. So if you're somebody who's impatient, who doesn't want that, then that's why Patreon exists is for all of us to binge to our heart's content and be impatient together. <laughs> so once again, my name is Jess and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.